Warning, this video may contain foul language, crude humor, and is meant for an adult audience. Please be advised. Hello and welcome to an another edition of War Journal Toys. I am Jason, your toy vigilante, here to be your forward observer in your toy hunting missions. Let's get into this. <clears throat> so, today we are taking a look at, I'm doing kind of a survey, uh, inquiring minds want to know video. Um, I was, a couple weeks ago, I was fussing around, and in the past, I was trying to make some stuff, and I had a bunch of excess fabric left over, and ran across a piece of it, of this skull print that I got here, and this is my first one, this isn't something I would be selling, but what I did was I made it, and used uh the 2000 x um king randor action figure and took his cape and basically put it on some fabric and and traced out a pattern which was that and came up with some capes and thought mm, maybe some other people would be interested so i decided to make about 30 or so of these of different different uh we got cash we got green we got multicam tropic we have a couple um like alligator print this is kind of like some kind of a snake skin or lizard print but i made a bunch of different versions and put them on so put the capes on some action figures so you get a a, a diversity of the possibilities with this some guys, <clears throat> some of you guys might not be interested, and that's fine, that's cool, but some of you might. So I'm just kind of doing a test test run and seeing what people think, and uh, we'll go from there. So let's get a little closer in depth into this and see what you guys think. So I got different, like I said, I got different flavors. I got blue. This one, I got skulls with red on the back this one's red but i do have some of them have wires in them some of them don't like these i made versions where it's just a single piece of fabric and you just put it on the the action figure and i just moved the camera sorry guys but uh so let's take a look at some of these guys one of the first guys i did was mosquito because with his big head and his armor, he just kind of looked naked without a without something. And I put this cape on him, and I really like it. I think it turned out badass. Um, I think it makes him look way more uh, interesting without getting those huge capes that have the wires in them that make them all flurry and stuff. Which they're cool if you got that kind of room. Most people don't from everything I see on Facebook of the different masters of the universe characters that people have all over the country and world. So did him, I'm going to go ahead and put him on the side. So, cause he's probably going to fall down. He doesn't stand up very well. And I also did just so you guys could see, we got our crimson bat here. Um, I threw a cape on him. This particular one is just double layered. There's no wire in it. And then I just did a little, add a little heat and put a crimp on it. So it hangs down on the back. I'll put him on the side. And then I did an anti turnia He Man. And this one has wire in it, as you can see. So you can bend and so forth. So got that one put him on the side i also did one for uh lady slither and this is just a regular just a single piece of fabric green and then around the neck so got her and i'm trying to keep this in the shot guys if i miss i'm sorry i'm going to try to correct it as i go because i'm doing this in one take and then I did some of the Sun Men, because some of the Sun Men aren't that, uh, there's not a lot of detail with them. 
So if I want, if you wanted to spice them up, I took this dude and I put a brown kind of a snakeskin cape on him. On the back side, it's just a black fabric side. So you could technically flip these over and use the other side. So you could see this on the display side. Kind of up to you. Um, here's another one of the Sun Men where this color actually blends with his armor really well um, but this is the single layer one it's got a rubber backing and you got the texture on on this side so got him and then i did the sun man this one's the flat top dude um, i'm not real big into this thing this thing eh, it's okay but i think it i think he looks so much better with a red cape on there. Um, but this is, like I said, this is a personal preference thing. You don't have to like shit that I don't like. If you don't like it, that's cool. I did this one with Scare Glow. Um, I like his plastic cape, but I just decided I had one enough fabric to make one purple cape. So I did one for my Scare Glow. Um, and I want to see if other people are interested in it. Put him on the side. I did this Skeletor. And this one's two, two, uh, two layers. So you got the skulls on the back. There is wire inside of it. But on this one, this is kind of a flocking on the, on the, the checkered pattern, which is really cool. It's kind of hard to make this one. This is this one would cost more than other ones because it's just it's a pain in the ass. But these are laminated together. Um, we'll go through all the figures, show you. Here's one that kind of looks like crocodile skin with a fabric, black fabric backing. So he's textured. So if you, let's say you wanted to look at him this way, just pop his head off, which he's just coming apart at the waist, which is annoying as crap. But let me put him back together. And then you can see <clears throat> how the you can see the texture on this side. Get his head off this little wrap. So you can see the texture on that side. So when you're displaying him, you can see that in the black plane. This is just a felt backing on this. So there's that possibility. Uh, I did. What do you call it? A couple more other figures. He's he Skeletor. Because I was really digging the skulls with him. It made him look a little more ominous. And so forth. And then this does have a wire inside of it. Which I will show you more details on the cape. And then I took some Masterverse action figures. And threw a cape on them. I got Pigman here. With a green cape. Backside is rubber. But gives a little more pizzazz for the action figures. So there's him. And then I took the... What is this one? Oh, shit. New Adventures of He-Man Skeletor. I didn't like... Where is it? So this is the, the cape that came with him. So you get this little goofy ring. And then the fabric, which it's all right. I mean, it came with it, so it was free. I'm not going to complain too much. But then I put a, a regular cape on them. with a little texture. It's covered with rubber, a rubber coating on the back to hold the fabric together. But it seems a little, to me, it's a little more like a real cape and not so wussy like the other one. And then... Uh, do a new adventures of he-man wanted to do a blue that kind of matched with his pants texture rubber single piece of fabric real easy nothing too too crazy and then we got dude here um so we got whiplash here i ended up putting a if you're into camouflage, this is a multi-cam tropic, double-layered, 
just put that on him give him a little more pizzazz so that's the capes with the different figures so you got a kind of an idea what they would look like so eat like the cash print cape here it's double layered it's got a little thing for his neck hangs down so it stays in form and then i got wire in it so you can bend it and fold it now mind you this is handmade if you sit and finger fuck it days on end or for a long time you're going to ruin it this is not made to be played with this is made to be folded set a few times here and there no big deal but if you keep playing with it it will come apart this is not a toy this is not made to be rough housed with or screwed with so if you think it's not going to work for you or you're going to want to play with it and play with it and play with it and then send me a thing complaining about something being made shoddy because you finger fucked it all the time you're shit out of luck because i gave you a warning it's an artist thing and then i'm not charging a lot for these things so bear with me so these ones, there's no wire in it. It's just laminated together, double fabric, skull print. I got a lot of this print, so I can make a lot of these if people are interested. And then I have the version here that's got the wire in it. So you can take and fold it like this, fold it like that, fold it like that. So it's kind of looks like he's, it's in the wind type of thing. And then you could fold it like that and give it a little movement action on the action figure. If you guys can see. So most of these, I don't want to mess with the metal because I don't want to screw up the integrity of them. Just showing you guys. So the single fabric ones will come like this. They'll be flat. Rubber rubber backing texture on this side and i'm only going to be doing them with like ones that's either black and the texture because like the the red the skulls on the black there's actually a white background on the back side of this so you have to laminate it or i would spray paint it which would be just goofy and then it'd smell like shit and i don't want your guys's collection you walk into a bedroom and it smells like spray paint that annoy the fuck out of me. So I'm not doing that. So if you wanted to, let's say, put this, this bend in it, what I do is fold it in half, hold it like that. And right now, and if I kick the camera, which I'm pretty sure I just did, I apologize. But what I do is I, I fold it like that, and then I take a, a lighter. I'm not going to do it on this one. This is per if you want to do this. And I give it a little heat, and then I press it and hold it in place. You could use paper clips to hold it in place, so it gives the effect of like this one. I put it on this one because the wire's already in it. So... They're going to be set with the wires. We'll have that already set in it. So right now, I have this kind of a print, which is some kind of a lizard reptile print. I got this kind of a print, which is kind of an alligator skin print. Um, let's see who had the alligator skin print. Bro here. And then I have this, because you can see there's small touchy scales, and then you got the big ones in there, so you can see the difference. Because I got, basically, this is part of, part of the layer of fabric, and then on the other side is that, so you could have either or. Um, so I got the Multicam Tropic. And I do have other camouflage prints. I just didn't cut them up. and Because this is a test, guys. I wanted to see if anybody's interested in this or not. If they are, awesome. But, so, cash print, green, like a, 
I would call this faker blue or Tiffany blue in my and my gun world they took call it that um, got the blue here the skulls with wires so and then let's see and then of course like this one I'll pull off Skeletor's head so you can see like this one is skulls on this side and then the the checkerboard with this is flock it is actually a fuzzy attached to this fabric so that's kind of neat you can see it's almost kind of three-dimensional but not quite and then i got the little fold on it this one has wire in it so you can bend it to your heart's desire so you get a little little action movement in it so you don't just have like this one because if it's just a single layer like this you're going to put it on his head snap his head back on and it pretty much sits like that now sometimes this depending on what's on the back of the action figure because he doesn't have anything like a sword holder or anything back here so it lays down pretty flat as you can see but it looks still pretty damn good with him. The color's a little off from his blue, but it still looks good. So, wanted to know what you guys thought in the comments. If you're interested in possibly buying these, if I make them available. Because I'm, like I said, this is kind of a survey video. I want to test the waters and see if anybody else is interested in these. Um, if you are, in the comments below the video... Put your comment that yes, you're interested. Um, some of them I can make custom, but there'll be a little bit of an upcharge for them. And right now, my pricing, uh, I have figured out. Let me grab my little notepad that I had. So, what my idea was, was like single layer fabric. No bells and whistles, no double layer, no wire. This is going to be seven bucks plus shipping. Um, if it is double layered with a wire, with the wire, it's going to be 15 a piece plus shipping. And then if you do like this version's double layered but no wire, that's going to be 10 a piece. So you go cheapest layer ones like that. And this one, and this one, these are going to be seven a piece for those. Um, the cash fabric, I can't do a single layer. It's white on the back. It looks a little goofy. You can almost see the print coming through it, so I won't be doing that. So seven for the single layers. No wire double layer, whatever flavor of fabric will be 10 and then if you do a double layer with wire it's going to be 15 and if you call out for something custom you're looking for or custom colors or something it's there's going to be an upcharge i haven't figured that out it'll probably be per request and then what i'm going to do is in a manila envelope like this how I'm going to pack it is I'm going to get some plastic bags, put this in a plastic bag, put it inside the paper to help cushion it, and put it in the manila envelope, and I will be sending it out in this manila envelope, and it'll be five bucks or less, it's around five bucks for shipping, up to four or five capes. I got to find out for sure, but I think it's five capes I can get the most in this package and stay under the $5 thing for shipping because I got to pay for this. I got to pay for the paper. I got to pay for the plastic. I got to pay for the shipping. Then I got to pay for gas to go down because I live out in an urban area and I'm 15 miles from my closest post office. And then coming back home, I'm 30 miles. So I got to drive 30 miles just to make a, uh, a mail run. So if you guys are interested, put your uh, 
put your put some stuff in the comment section. Let me know if, what you think. If it sucks and you don't care, put it. I don't care. I'm just taking a, uh, I want to get an idea if this will sell. Because if these sell and you guys like them and I keep selling them, I'll keep making them till people lose interest and move on. So I'm Jason. This is War Journal Toys. I hope you stayed all the way to the end of this video. I see it's 20 minutes long. I'm sorry that it's so damn long. But if you like my content, please like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.